So, kids, what, is some of, what are some of your favorite memories um, of time with Grandma and Grandpa? Well, two of mine are playing uh, card games with Grandma and Grandpa and uh, going to the zoo and just uh, having a fun time. I really like baking bread with Grandma. Her bread is really good and it's just really fun because we get to make our own little loaves. And then with Grandpa, he has taught me so many things. Tennis, piano, there's just so many memories with them. It's really neat. Sweetie, how did 51 years go by so quickly? Well, it certainly did, but I think that it has been just an extension of the admiration I had for you. I think that the thing that attracted me greatly about you was your vivacious personality, that you were full of life, and it's been that way for all those years. You remember you proposed to me at Earlham College, and we I were standing by the meeting house and those evergreens that grow there. That's correct. I, I had the vision of my mother. She was a wonderful homemaker, a wonderful example to me. Dave's mother was also. And I wanted to raise my children to honor the Lord, and I knew that it would, was a full-time job to be with them, to train them, to play games and encourage them, and to teach them. My mother had been a tremendous influence in my life. She was a teacher before she started as a full-time mother herself. And uh, the sixth grade, interestingly, which one of our daughters has taught sixth grade. And my mother um, always was an example to me of the teaching mother. The Christian influence that the mother can exert is tremendous. And I think that that was a very important thing. Family devotions has been something that was is very special from the time the children were very small. And it was a special time because we got acquainted with the children's deeper feelings and uh, their spiritual growth. The round of prayer at the end was always special because we started with the youngest. And of course, uh, Marie would have, the at the younger age, the simpler and more direct prayers. And then each one was to think of something special for them. But it also taught them to learn to pray for other people, not just for their own personal wants. We made sure of that, I remember. It's just a wonderful honor, and I know many other families that would deserve it even more than we would, certainly. And so I just thank the Lord that um, He's done something in our lives that has caused us to be chosen. It's, if we've done anything right, it's because of the grace of God. Mm -hmm.